going to be showing you how to make facial morphs in MMD or blend shapes as they're called using Maya with the aid of sub D's. So what sub D's are, I can make a little example here, uh, create a cube and then let's see, do control A for attributes and add some subdivisions here real quick. Okay. And delete one half. Whoops. One half, please. All right, and this kind of gives us an example of a pipeline that's typically used to model anamorphic models, because uh, you start with one half. And then you mirror, you do like a live mirror to the other side. And in this case, I'm mirroring to the Z axis, so I put a negative one, that's how this works, and hit apply. So at this point, now we can grab vertices and it will mirror in live uh, to the other side. So the cool thing about sub D's is it's kind of like a temporary representation of what the model will look like when it's actually smooth. And you could do this in Maya by hitting the key, uh, the key number on your, uh, on your keyboard, not the number pad. Um, and it just kind of like quickly kind of like gives you a representation of what it'll look like it's when it's smooth. The other cool thing is, is you can go with the vertex mode or face mode or edge mode and kind of move it around and kind of like morph it into like the, like whatever shape you want to. It works really good for like uh, uh, anamorphic kind of uh, like soft objects. Um, you can use hard objects but you have to make uh, holding edges and stuff. But it's really good for um, like faces and bodies and stuff. So now you kind of got your potato, I guess. Uh, you can go back to one or three at any time. Uh, you can go to mesh and smooth. And with a division level of two, which is pretty close to the uh, resolution of what it looked like when it was in sub D mode, uh, you can uh, apply a smooth to it. And then it basically is what you would use when you export it out to MMD. Uh, and start rigging it up. Uh, so that's kind of like a, a example of sub D's. So let's do it on the actual model. So looking at the model, we're going to do the exact same method to uh, prepare the face for export to MMD. Uh, so we're going to start by combining the face and I'm going to isolate selection. When I go to the front view, I'm going to quickly select the verts down the middle so we can kind of merge these verts together. I'm going to go into x-ray mode and kind of deselect some that are really close together that I'm afraid might merge together and do a quick merge. It looks like two of them merged together that I didn't want to, so I'm going to control Z and then try again. There we go. So I'm going to merge these by hand that are really close together by the lips. Okay. And notice that I've modeled the inside of the mouth already. It's pretty much done. And I need to merge some back here that just didn't get quite merged. Okay. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to fix something real quick that's going to bother me. I go into one split polygon tool right across there. Whoops. Delete these edges. Go back to one. There we go. So it's a little bit of a nicer kind of like a little nicer topology there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is now that we have the face merged together, um, it's still in sub D some deform, not converted to polys yet and ready to be exported. I'm going to save this because we're going to use this later to make our facial morph to export to MMD. So I'm going to save this. Whoops. Save scene as. Just, I guess we could put it on a desktop for now. Um, default sub D. Okay. Save that. And now we can smooth it. So the idea behind smooth, smooth is generally kind of looked down in the industry uh, as kind of like a noobish sort of thing. But if you use sub D's to kind of define the, the shape of the object, if it's an anamorphic type of uh, soft shape, uh, smoothing is not actually that bad of an option, as long as you can handle the amount of polys it's going to generate. 
So I'm going to sub, uh, uh, do subdivision level of two, hit apply. And you can see how the face looks like ultra smooth, uh, kind of like a Kako Mihi model or something from Windows 100%. Uh, the, the downside is, is that working with a face at this type of resolution is just really difficult when using facial morphs. So we're going to come back to you, or come back to that, and I'm going to show you how to deal with that. But I'm going to export this out to uh, Max and then onto MMD. So I'm export selection. I actually did a did a test already. So default face. I'm going to choose FBX. You can use OBJ too, but FBX is a little bit more robust format. So we're going to do that. We're going to export that. And we're going to head over to 3D Studio Max, where so we're going to import our face. And it's going to come in with some extra junk because I didn't clean up the file because I'm bad. Uh, it's mostly just uh, grouping nodes and stuff like that. I'm just going to delete them real quick. And we're going to make this viewport bigger. And the thing I like to do with uh, my models before I export to MMD is I like to check the smoothing groups. Uh, so that way there's no hard edges or weird things like that. So I'm going to do the little drop down here under edit poly, select element. Just scroll all the way down here and then go to smoothing groups and hit auto smooth. Actually, I'm going to increase it to 80 and auto smooth. That's just uh, increasing the obtuseness of the angle of the polys, the neighboring polys, that decides uh, whether to crease the edge there or not. So by choosing 80, that's pretty wide, and then that will make sure that the surface isn't smooth the entire way around, and not there's not going to be any hard edges in the normals, the vertex normals. So, so we're going to go back to Edit Poly, and then we're going to export this default face as a DirectX or Panda.x file, which is uh, readable by MMD. It's going to have the default options. That's fine. It's just going to create a dummy bone, stuff like that. And it's going to export out. And then we're going to go over to MMD. And we're going to import that .x file, default face. I'm going to choose the option on the scale here, and I already know that it needs to be a uh, power of two, and it's going to come in like so. So you can see our face there. Did it come with any other bones? It came up with two bones, uh, probably because of the grouping stuff. So I'm going to delete this one and leave center, and I'm going to save that to MMD default face and we're going to save that as a PMX file okay so we are good to go with that we now have our face that we're going to export a morph to and apply to uh, so now we have to go back to Maya and we still have our face that's all converted to polys here we're going to go back to the sub D face And we're going to then create our morph uh, with the sub Ds, which is going to cut the time it takes drastically. So just waiting for it to open here. There we go. So I'm going to bring up a little like clock and I'm going to uh, time lapse this to kind of show you how long it may take to actually make the face. So we're going to do that now. So I'm going to bring up my little timer here. I'm going to hit start and I'm going to start going at it and then we'll come back to it. So about four minutes and 30 seconds to make that, which is insanely faster than the other method of just actually moving the polys, but it's already converted to polygons. So now all we got to do is mesh 
smooth subdivisions uh, level of two, which is important because we has, it has to match exactly the, the, the poly count and subdivision level of the previous model, of uh, the default model. And we're gonna hit smooth. And there you go. You have a, a uh, facial morph right there, ready to be exported. So we're going to export this. And we're gonna call this default ah, uh, export as a FBX. And then we're going to go to 3D Studio Max. And then we're going to import default face ah. Uh, and delete these extra little grouping nodes again. And then the cool thing about this is that you don't actually have to do any kind of smoothing groups because it's actually just going to take the default model and move the vertexes or vertices to the positions of the new imported uh, model, which is what we're looking at here. So I'm going to export this default A DirectX, save, export. All right, and then we go to PMX editor and we're going to make a new file and then we're going to import the A face. Okay, and we're going to follow the same exact settings as before. So we're going to do two. And I'm going to delete this extra bone. So it just has center and you can see the see the open mouth there Very, fairly decently. I could turn on weight mode. You can see it even better. So that's the the blend shape or facial morph now inside uh, PMX editor. We're going to save this as a PMX file. Default A. And what I do is I create a new little folder and I call it like morphs or something. And then I, I add all my morphs as I'm working into this folder. So save that. Okay. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger now. And I'm going to open up our default, default face. Get it all nice and big there. So you see all those polygons. Whoa, where'd it go? There it is. So you can see all those polygons. And we're going to make a new uh, facial expression or morph. So you go to the uh, Morph tab in PMX Editor, right click, hit uh, the top option, which is New Morph, do UVs. And then we're going to go to up here to file, open, go to Morse, select default A, hit this button to apply it. And look what we got. We got a facial morph that actually moves. So I go to wait mode. Okay. And I'm gonna call this A and I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to close. And there you go. We pretty much have a facial morph ready to go that's on the model. Now, the the downside to this method is you have to apply all the morphs onto the face like it is in, in that you're looking at right now. And then uh, once you have all your facial morphs, so like all your expressions, AEIOU, all your like up corner, down corner, um, mouth open, eye blinks left to right, uh, the different types of eye blinks, all that stuff have to be done on the face before you add it to the body. The reason why is because when you have the body along with the face and you add the, the morphs like I did when I did file open, I, I added a PMX file to it. 
um, it's taking the vertex IDs of the new of the new imported model and applying it to the vertex IDs of the existing model. And sometimes those vertex IDs kind of get uh, changed around when you start having other models in, incorporated to the model you're trying to add the morph to. So this will get you very high-end facial morphs onto your model, uh, like we saw there. I could even open this into uh, a MMD. Uh, let's do a file, actually, make sure it's in there. Yeah, it should be. So save as uh, face default. Let's open MMD here. Okay. Face default. Okay. There we go. Oh. And if I, it's null because I didn't name it, but you can see it's it's working right here. So now all you have to do is add to the morph teeth and tongue and you're basically done with the mouth for ah, essentially. It's like super easy. So, so yeah, you have to do this for the, uh, the eye blinks and so on. The really, really cool thing about this is that you only have to do eye blinks um, in Maya for two blinks, the happy blink and the, or the, the smile, I guess you'd call the expression on Japanese models or just a regular blink. And then you can use a really cool um, function inside of, um, let me go to it real quick. So I go to edit. So now we're in edit mode for our facial expressions. And you can select uh, what you made changes to and you can go to this option under edit and then mirror. And then what it'll do is it'll mirror whatever you made changes to to the size. So you can turn a wink uh, into a, a blink with both eyes and then you can uh, undo one side and then get the wink on the other side and save it out so it's a lot of quick it's a quick workflow to get you uh, facial expressions um, inside of MMD so um, so that's pretty much it that's essentially the pipeline and how to use uh, sub D's to quickly make a facial expression and then convert it uh, to a PMX editor for use in MMD to incorporate onto your models. So um, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave it in the, uh, the comments below. And I'll try to get more videos out to you guys because I know I've been kind of like behind on it. It's just that there's so many things going on right now and making models and stuff. It's really hard to just keep pumping out the tutorials and, and other videos and stuff. It's just I'm just pulled super thin and stuff in every direction right now. So, um, so thanks for hanging in there, guys. And thanks for watching.